It's a thought experiment. Okay. Okay, your, your penis is in an anus, and mm -hmm. your mouth is the, on that person's mouth. All right, I'm picturing it. Are you sucking your own dick? Are you saying that my dick is that big? Hi, I'm Dr. Drew, and this is Dr. Drew After Dark. Please be advised that Dr. Drew After Dark may contain sexually oriented content and be unsuitable for young children. Oh, everybody, welcome to a very special Dr. Drew After Dark. I'm so excited to be here. You have no idea. This is uh, the beginning of a whole new era at your mom's house and for Dr. Drew After Dark. Of course, keep the voice messages coming at 818-253-1693 and the emails at drdrewafterdark at gmail.com. I, uh, I have quite a, a, a spectrum of uh, questions today. You guys have been sending them diligently. Also, we have lots of requests fulfilled today. Lots of your wishes come through, and mine too. Welcome, Annie. Oh, Welcome, Annie. my goodness. Reunited, and it feels so good. Feels There's going to be many, so many reunitings going to happen in this studio, and yes. this is the first of several. And I'm very excited. Thank you for joining me. Not Thank only joining me, can I, can I discuss where we are here? Uh, you can, yeah. In the, his house. That's right. We, we are in Annie's house, man. We're, and we're it in is. A, we're in Taliban Studios, that's what we're calling it. Taliban Studios. Yeah. You see how it looks like those beheading videos you see, you know, where it's like... No, and, and it's, of course, it's in a nondescript neighborhood, exactly. you know, a little... <laughs> kind of kind of white here. <laughs> so Just a little so, bit. So, yeah, yeah. So. Zero black neighbors. Yeah, well, yeah. is that cool? Is that working? I mean, no one bothers me, yeah. you know, so far. But yeah, yeah definitely, you know, I was... Uh, I mean, I'm not, you know, an adult yet, so I didn't, you know, I don't know how to, f I'm, I'm learning how to have my own place. And how to have neighbors. Uh, and how to have you neighbors. You got to like take them things and to get to know them and shake their hand. Right, thing. right. It's very weird, especially here in Texas, because everybody wants to talk and be a person. And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, like, are you trying to sell me something? Like, what's the deal, man? So. This is that oppositional defiance shit coming in <laughs> Pretty much. I don't trust anyone. And, and I assume well, that people don't trust me. Like, no, no, I, no. They are, they, are, they are genuinely nice. It, they were, They were like. So I come from Van Nuys, right? Which is, and I don't come from the good part of Van Nuys. I come from Van Nuys, Van Nuys. There's a great uh, video out there. We got to track it down someday. <laughs> called, it's, it's a spoof on uh, essentially a Van Nuys tourist video. Van oh, I Nuys, think I've seen Van it. Nuys. I've seen that, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. It's very good. And it really <laughs> captures the essence of Van Nuys. It is Van perfectly Nuys, accurate. Essentially, when I think of Van Nuys, I think about asphalt, cinder block, and fucking hot as shit, and a lot of homeless people. Yeah, uh, and, and train tracks. <laughs> That and, and oddly, for some reason, machetes. Like you ever, you ever, if you download the Citizen app and and you get those two, notifications, two machetes. <laughs> every time it's just going to be like man with machete. Yeah, yeah. On so third that, and you're just like what? Sepulveda? That why? is the uh, that is the uh, meth move now. It's, it's machetes. It's meth, homeless machete. They go together, and it, that's down here in Southern California. But in in um, it sounds like a metal band. Yeah, I know meth, meth and machetes. machetes. It's good. It's a pretty cool. But band. I'm getting hot in here, dude. It's already? Like, yeah, already. Is Man, it, they shit. I'm, Yo, is, people wanted you and I, but uh, can I turn, reunion, can you turn it down or can I can I just take my coat off? The real reunion are those two guns? Yeah, I can I can turn yeah. it down. Hold Go on. Go ahead and pop that shirt right. off, Drew. All right, I'll just stay. Don't I don't need it down if I took the take the the coat off. It's all right. All right, here we go. Hold on. This is the real reunion. That's right. Forget me. Here we go. We're really going to see it now. In my house? Yeah. The guns in my house. It, it, they are legal, you know. It, good point. Yeah. You don't have to have a license for those anymore. That's awesome. And, and he is looking out for me. And before we <laughs> sat down, he goes, oh, no, turn your headphone around so the, the wire isn't in front of your face. I'm like, thank you. Man. I just want thank people you. to see that beautiful this face. This is good. Baby. This is good. This is a... Uh, we got, we got a lot to talk about you and I, but yes, but sir. but where were we going? We were talking about the neighborhood here. Oh, I was saying so so I don't know how to be an adult. Oh which yeah, is, which is probably a big thing that that I want to talk about. But um, so something I did I uh, so this studio has a lot of like working um, you know electronics in it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, rather than going and turning each little thing off, I wanted to just turn the whole circuit. You know mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. the breaker. So I was looking for the breaker, and this is a house, not an apartment. And I couldn't find the breaker. And in my in my head, I'm like, in a house is like the breaker on the outside or can something? Can be. Can be. Really? Okay. Yeah. So okay. So I'm not that dumb. Yeah. But so I went out and I saw. It could be in the basement too. Is there a basement? There's no basement. Mm, no, no, dude. No. I would not. What do you do house. during the storms? I would not get a house with a basement. No. There's Why? Ghosts. There's ghosts. <laughs> there, <laughs> there's so, definitely ghosts. Come on. There's there's an attic in the garage. Never going to open You just gave it. me three more shows worth of material. <laughs> it's, it's all good. It's all good. In fact, in fact when I get my wife in here, which I'm going to do, uh, you two will 
mind meld on your ghost story. So yeah. okay, I'm this afraid is... of nothing real. You could point three guns at my face. I'm gonna be like, shoot, go ahead. But but the it hand coming out of the toilet. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. We call that sort of a conversion. Oh. Conversion. Uh, conversion. Yeah. You you conver It's 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 a conversion reaction of sorts where you take your your fear of one thing and you sort of convert it. Some people convert it into physical features. I think of paralysis in their arm. You convert it oh. into a narrative. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, I definitely have a lot of those, yeah, crazy ass narratives. That's for sure. Nadav yeah. can vouch for that one. I love it. Sure can. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I got some interesting theories, but uh, go ahead, give me one. Uh, well, you ever been in a casino? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> and you felt like <laughs> you felt like you were losing so bad that like I don't know. It's, it's somehow you win right when you're about to leave the casino. It's like jackpot or whatever. You hit like. Blackjack, yeah. and, and and you double your it money. Brings you back. back in. You're you keep like, losing. How did that happen? It's like right when you're about to leave. You ever feel that? No. Okay. But it's okay. But I get it. But but that's kind of the way statistics run. You know, they run in these series. And p humans, our brain does really bad with probabilities. And so mm. we're always trying to make sense of what's happening. Probabilities, and we think we know it. There's there's a story. There's a famous uh, Skinnerian box called the superstition superstitious pigeon. You ever heard of Whoa. this? No. So, okay, Skinner boxes were these, These. this was the heyday of behaviorism, like the 1970s. And they were, you know, reinforcing animals with classical conditioning paradigms and teaching them to do certain things. And they had one pigeon that they would just randomly send shit down. Like these corn cobs, with corn kernels would come down just completely randomly. Mm -hmm. And the pigeon, because it had been taught earlier that it needed to do things to get a reward, started developing these elaborate dances that it thought it was doing to make the corn come down mm. and it was and the and the more random the more elaborate and the more involved the behaviors became as the pigeon tried to make sense of what was happening sometimes things are just random Hmm. Yeah, I know it's hard to take. So that's what they want you to think. Yeah, here's, right. That's here's right. what that's really what they, happens. That's what they want you to think. Here's what really happens. They're watching so, you. It's, of course. So you walk in, right? You have like a player, <laughs> a, a digital player card. Yeah. Right? So they know from the minute you enter the door how many dollars you made, lost, yep. Yep. Are, are spending, mm -hmm. how many, probably mm -hmm. if you use the ATM, They're I all imagine over. They, they can see it's how true. much money you have. And, and if you were, yeah, okay, go ahead. So, but, there, but there's this this gaming board that watches them watching you. To make sure they don't fuck with you. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's a high, it's an even higher power. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is some next level shit. So, so I think that it started out as just money tracking. You know, like how much have they made? How much have they lost? Maybe like this guy's counting or something. And then I think it has escalated now to where you know the software is so advanced that it sees when you are about to. It, it kind of predicts what I, you're going I'm gonna, to do. I'm going to table this for now until my <laughs> wife gets in here because I've heard these because I heard these exact things from her. This is her theory. I'm like your wife. She, she no, wonder, no wonder why you fucking like me. That, I know, that right? Sense, maybe that, maybe that sort of works how it fits together. But but she literally thinks they give you new dice uh, all of a sudden in the middle of a roll somehow that the dice are now fixed Ooh. or or that there's magnets under the table or Ooh. something. <laughs> yeah, so, we would have fun. So oh, shit. <laughs> she's convinced of it. So she, you, you and she together will go to some very oh yeah interesting superstitious pigeon places. So we'll let that happen. Yes. Um. Okay. So. Oh, I, 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 so I never, much. I never told my story. Let, let me, let me finish. It's very. I'll make it short. Okay. Basically, I went outside and um, the breaker. I, this is the breaker yeah, story. I thought so. I found the breaker that I believe is for the entire house, right? Uh, oh boy. And um, so I was like starting to open it, and it was like I don't know midnight. It's you know I'm out there with a screwdriver opening the thing, and then my neighbor comes home, and I'm like, oh wow, here we go. Here like, it is. I'm the only black dude in like a yep. 10 mile radius. Screwing you know with the house. Saying? I have a yep. fucking screwdriver, I'm in pajamas, I'm like, <laughs> a hoodie. Fuck, Put a black man. hoodie on next time. I should have, <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and I just, you know, oh dude. If, if, if you're, if you're mi or black, <laughs> if you're anything but white basically, and you've dealt with that, you know that all you gotta do, there's nothing you can do. You, if you turn around and you're like, hey, I'm not, I'm not like, yeah. I'm not dangerous. It's worse. Yeah, yeah. Worse. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Let them be afraid and maybe they'll confront you. Maybe they won't. Hold your own. How'd but, it go? But yeah, but, but that's the crazy did, part did about they Texas. They did, but they were just like, hey, you good? Like, you need any help or anything? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, is your power off? And this is the Southern hospitality. I was, hey, y'all, what's going on there? <laughs> I'm like, I know what. Can this, I bring you I'm, a cake afterward? <laughs> I literally, literally, they they invited me to the to a Facebook group. Oh, I told them oh. I had a bunch of boxes. They're like, we could take a lot of those. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, we we could use them for them. Like, 
what is going it's on? Nice. Yeah, no, it, it, it was, uh, they were nothing but helpful. And I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I know how it looks. They're like, what do you, what does it look like? I don't know. I just thought you were like, were out of power or something. I'm like, oh my God. Did you find the breaker? I did, yeah. It's, yep. it's, it's, it's by the way, they were bullshitting you. They, were, they had their hand on their gun at that point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, honey, you see that shit? Call the fucking cops. They got in the house. They're like, cancel the cops. Cancel the cops. Cancel the cops. The guy's all right. The guy's okay. He's a new friend. <laughs> oh, my God. This is too funny. Uh, I want to talk to you about, uh, there's so many things that we got to talk about today. I got things for you, too. Man. Yeah, I know. Let's just do a couple of emails before we get on. So I want to yeah. make sure people, everyone's, everyone is uh, represented here today because you and I have a lot to get into. Mm -hmm. Hey, Hitler. You know, by the way, <laughs> got to make sure everyone's represented, in, in, even Hitler. And Hey, Hitler has become High Hitler. Which somehow it gets closer to Heil Hitler, which makes it more <laughs> offensive. You know what I mean? Well, it's I, it's, I keep trying to correct him. It's it's Hey Hitler. She's saying Hey Hitler. I think it's both, right? She, no, does no, she say Hi Hitler? Can confirm. It's both. Yeah, it's, it's both. It's, okay. It's, you know, All right. Well, Hi Hitler just gets, gets a little bit. Mm. Believe it or not, she's a little inconsistent. A uh, shock. She, yeah. she, any, she turned up again enough? Uh, no. No, we have not. And, and let me just finish yet. the 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 whole any house thing. This is a lovely house and a lovely neighborhood. Congratulations, you were growing you. up, sir. Thank right you. In front of thank you. I'm and not. Thank you for letting talk us. About how I'm not. We, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad that my house gives off the idea. Is, that is, and there was a giant ghost in the front yard. You had, you had, you had freaking Halloween decorations. Yeah. In well, your, that, on your lawn. That came from com my competitiveness. I saw the the neighbors have ghosts. And I, I was it. like, those pussies. No, like, I dig it. You got to be better. You're just going to be a freaking display in one year. Okay, good. A uh, long time listeners, first time caller. I know the past weeks there's been a lot of discussion about mouth to, to anus. And I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet about oh, cool. this. Yeah, this is uh, apparently disrupting a lot of uh, Thanksgiving dinners and things like that. <laughs> where people are, people as they eat their turkey and their stuffing. Did you know that I'm keeping this outside my body as I take this stuffing in? And when it comes out my asshole, it will still be outside my body? It's like, okay, thank you everybody for representing me at your dinner table. Is, it, is the stuffing inside the turkey's body? <laughs> That's right. Is it outside? That's right. Theoretically Hold connected. Hold on, that's a good question, though. Is the stuffing inside the body? It's outside, baby. Well, <laughs> it's inside because you've taken out all the insides and replaced it with stuffing. You know what I mean? It goes into the chest cavity. So that's inside. That's well, inside. I guess I just... That'd be like stuff getting like a knife in your chest. That'd be inside. All right. That just shows that I don't know how to stuff a turkey. The I thought theoretically, it was the theoretically, one large tube. <laughs> so if you... <laughs> I did. That's what I, I just imagined it was... But stuffing turkeys <laughs> colons so <laughs> if you thought. partner okay so if you and your partner are having anal sex while making out mm -hmm. also while making out are they what? Uh, this is a good question oh, oh thank you alex okay picture this i'm, I'm thinking simultaneously you're having okay. anal sex and making out just let's yeah. say you could pull that off you could twist around and do that wait, wait you mean simultaneously let's just say you just uh, just for the sake of it's a, it's a thought experiment okay okay your, your penis is in an anus and your mm -hmm. mouth is the, on that person's mouth all right, I'm picturing it. Are you sucking your own dick? Uh, I, are you saying that my Are you saying that my dick is that big? No. Good. Uh -oh. So he's saying no, you do not suck your dick. You're connected by a tube. It would be like putting your dick in a in a hose and then putting your mouth on the other end of the hose and saying, oh, right. you sucked your dick. No. Oh, no. You did not. Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe maybe germs would have got that far. Maybe. Nah. No. Piss on me, beat me, touch my camera through the fence, Garth. There we go. Which is... Uh, a nice new one, nice new uh, addition to T our, our so greetings. So, touch my camera to the fence. I I get why it's new for you because it's a it was a very it was one video that it happened on. Do you know? Do you remember the video? I've that seen on? I've seen homages to the video. Okay. I don't remember the video because it must have been a while ago. But it seemed to have re been reborn. It's the initial Fed Smoker video. The right, right, right. First I do one. remember that one. I, yeah. That's why I didn't understand the Garth connection. Uh, well, I mean, Garth is connected to everything. Okay, right? got it. Okay, yeah, got it. of course, of course, he feels people. Uh, the other night I was feeling around. Yeah. I was feeling around downstairs and I felt a strange bulge on my left testicle. It does not hurt, bother me, occasional discomfort now and then. I've, I have a doctor's appointment scheduled, but they could not see me until November. My first thought was cancer, but I looked into lumps are on the nuts. I guess if you Google lumps on nuts, you'd probably get a decent return. Uh, I found a thing called hydrocele, and that sounded more like what was going on. Yeah, see, you just Google bumps on nuts and you get something good. Anyway, I thought I'd ask your opinion. Piss on my beat me. Live life 365. Thanks, jeans. Um, yeah, it's a, anything smooth, anything like like rubbery and smooth is no big deal. Spermatoseal, hydroseal, cystoseal, varicoseal. Varicoseal is usually sort of more like a, a bag of worms. But when something is a cancer, it's like a rock. It's like a pebble in oh. there. That's in it. I mean, really hard. That's Shit. when you got to worry about it. But anything, you know, there can be hernias and other things that need to get taken care of. So anything like that you want to. So there you go. Uh, oh, 
So let's stay in the balls here. Too much stress on my balls. Let's stay in the balls. Yeah, let's do that. Let's mark that as a potential uh, show title. <laughs> <laughs> stay in the balls. <laughs> uh, I'm 24-year-old recently medically separated from Navy boot camp. That's an interesting euphemism. A testicular lump was found in my processing, and I started experiencing testicular pain that radiates in the pelvic floor. Uh, unable to stand, wow. Lift heavy objects, sent to the ER for an ultrasound, which showed varicoceles, hydrocele, and the right-sided marble-sized lump was a spermatocele. Good, see, we've talked about these things just now. Glad we stayed with the balls. Uh, I was sent home where I had to go through an ultrasound and doctors again. My doctor told me that while the conditions can have caused pain, they shouldn't have caused pain and that my storing stress in my pelvic floor is ag is aggravating all the other conditions in the area. Jesus. So apparently not only can you store too much cum and piss in your balls. <laughs> all, all I'm not do I need to repeat myself on that one? So okay, we've all been properly Yeah, educated. one more time clean. Balls the balls. <laughs> the balls are not like a a sump that carry liquid. They are a organ that produces sperm. It's what they do, and they and testosterone, and they then send the sperm up to the seminal vesicles where it mixes with the fluid that's created from the prostate. Okay, all right, everybody, and that uh, creates cum. That is the combo. That is the cum itself. The thing you see the is combo. is from the prostate, which gotcha. is fairing all the sperm that moving up from the testicles. There's a little bit of fluid coming with it, of course. But mm. all right. So not only can you store too much cum and piss in your balls, and no piss in the balls, no piss in the balls, <laughs> nothing Pull, in the balls, piss in the bladder, nothing, just um, testosterone. So, I didn't know testosterone was in the balls. Primarily, uh, he, that's that's your testosterone producing organ, and then your adrenal glands produce a bit too. So uh, you, again, your your balls are just ovaries that change and move down under the influence. They, they start up in your back when you're a baby, Ugh. when you're an infant. I mean, when you're in, in utero. And they start where the ovaries are. And in, a, in, in males, they're because of the Y chromosome, they're compelled to move down to the testes and start producing testosterone. Whoa. And while the ovaries stay where they are and start cycling and producing uh, estrogen. Uh, so store too much piss in balls. You can store too much stress in your balls. Who knew? Is storing stress in your pelvic floor a normal thing? Because I only really heard about storing it in your neck, shoulders, and back. Thanks. Watch for waspuses. The waspuses have really been catching on. People dig that. You got to watch for them. Yeah. Uh, you better drink some water because it's hot out today. Um, are you a little, are you a little OCD too? Uh, 100%. Clan, clan the OCD? Yeah, yeah, 100%. So how, how do you, I'm, I'm that way too. And so the, the, what you notice, I notice also. <laughs> and so, glad, and so, glad you noticed. And, and so <laughs> is it, I know, and not everyone is that way. Uh -huh. And so how do you deal with and with all the chaos that's going on with all the production in the house right now? You just kind of give into it? Just you keep mean, it as orderly as possible? You mean um, like- Your house is it. taken over here by a bunch of- Yeah, well- um, A bunch of what? So, a bunch of what? Well, I was going to say <laughs> screwballs, but it really is production. It's production really is taken over. Well, I mean, luckily, I mean, I come from production, so I like all this equipment here. Oh, okay, but like, got it. But the rooms, I mean, yeah. I'm here by myself. Yeah. I don't have roommates this time. Yeah. Um, long story as to why that happened, but um, so all do, the Do rooms, you own this house or rent it? Rented. Ah. Yeah, yeah, this time. You I want to buy next year. But good. Good for yeah, you. You I should look to. into it as soon as possible. Maybe you can rent to lease to buy or something. Right. Yeah. I, I Actually, yeah, I asked this guy. Because these are nice definitely. properties. This is really nice. I mean, it's. I don't know how you found this because this is. It's easy to get to, but it's well outside of town. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And, and it's towards the airport, too, isn't it? Are we sort of near the airport here? Oh, pfft. I think so. <laughs> In fact, gentlemen, uh, next time I come, uh, maybe there's a hotel right nearby here. Or are we gonna, still going to be here? Yeah, until the new year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So something to think about. Hell yeah. Um, so anyway, yes, uh, pelvic floor stress is an interesting phenomenon. So you can stress your pelvis by overly stimulating yourself sexually, and literally blood and lymphatics get kind of built up. We call that blue balls. Mm -hmm. Again, this show is all about the balls, so good. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can also have muscular stress down there, right? You can have spasms. You can have contraction of the pelvic floor. And that can lead all the way to something called pubococcygeous muscle spasm, which you kind of feel as a, ever had a visceral kind of a, like almost like kicked in the nuts kind of pain that comes out of nowhere? Out of nowhere? No. Okay. Well, people get Thank that. God. People get it. It's often after ejaculating, but not necessarily. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> yeah. It That's can, terrible. Right. And if you have cystocele, spermatoceles, and all this stuff that causes more congestion down there, the add, add the muscular tension, that can that can cause some symptoms, it seems to me. So I don't disagree mm. with what the doctor was saying. Wait, uh, so you could get blue balls <laughs> after you come? No. Uh, no, it's different. I, I'm saying you get muscle spasm after you come. Blue balls, well, mm, 
you could be left with a little bit of blue ball feeling. It's just generally relieved by coming. But but if it's bad enough buildup, you can still go on afterwards. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, and he right. says yes. Had it had it happen. Yeah, yeah, it, for sure. But yeah, it has to be before it. It's not like it's going to happen only after. Has uh, uh, has moving sense. interrupted your habits, your rhythms? <clears throat> your... I tried. Um, no, first of we're all, we're three times. Um, we're still at three a day. Yeah, yeah, I did it like on the way here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, I drove here, by the way, and it was one one trip. I, oh, I didn't, I didn't so, sleep. so when it says rest stop for you, it's not to just pee. No, no, I, no. it was uh, it was twenty two hours, and and I uh, yeah, I just made stops. You know, how, how do you, just, how do you find Texas? Have you ever lived out anywhere else besides L A. or I don't know. Uh, no, no, no L A. And how does this feel? Make it's birth. a big change, right? It's so it's tough because. I, I haven't really gone out. I've, I've been working. I've been kind of stuck in here. My lease uh, uh, expired on my car mm. right when I got here. Jeez. So now I don't have a car right now. Oh. And it's not because I can't get one. It's just like so many things are happening that I'm like, I'm not And it's 20 bucks Uber, I will tell you, to get into town. That's right. what it is. Right, right. So yeah. it's like, I'm, I'm not experiencing it enough yet, but I, li I like it. From what I see, I like it. There's color. There's it's a lot different. sky. There's and, trees. And, and there's people. And, and the people are nice. They yeah. really are nice. And before we, uh, Mike's heated up, we were talking about the, the storms they have here, which are <laughs> fucking crazy. And not Southern California, we, we are not like built for this. No. It's, it's a freaks us out. No, no, no. It, does it make you think about the ghost in, in, in the basement? <laughs> no. It, <laughs> Do you uh, imagine some Thor throwing bolts at you or anything? Or? Although I won't lie, before, I mean, now I kind of know that a storm, it's a storm, but in the beginning, it's like, you're not used to noises out of, no, like, that's not a thing, right, in California. So- you hear the storm kind of in the distance at first, but it sounds like people that are about to get in your house. Oh. So the first two times, I immediately, I was just like, and I went and got my gun like immediately. And I was just sitting there on my couch. So it sounded like a crowd. Huh? Like a crowd coming your way. Yeah, it, it like it sounded like, because it, we gotta it get shakes that dude. your whole house. We gotta so get like, that guy out of the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 it's coming. Dude, I We're thought, coming. I literally thought, because the first storm too, uh, it was it came on trash day. And oh, so, so it, yeah, it sounds like trash being rattled around and stuff. No, it was it was that I put my trash out and I'm not used to trash etiquette. I've always had an apartment, so I don't know that you have to like take it back first thing in the morning, uh, put oh. it out like late at night. Yeah. So I thought that they were like mad that I didn't have right. trash etiquette. The storm blew away my trash cans down the street. So I walk out the next morning and I'd see no trash cans and I'm like, these motherfuckers. Do you see how like, your brain works though? I'm like, see where you go. See where you that's go. That's what we're gonna fucking think do. about. That's that. how we're gonna play. Think this. about your thinking. Check yourself. Yeah. This is where Stoic philosophy can be very helpful. <laughs> it's like don't always assume the worst, and don't always assume this directed at you purposefully. It's yeah. just a storm blew your freaking trash. Well, wait. Industry. Actually, no, I didn't the first time because this was the second week in a row. The first but week. By the way, if you have enough trash transgressions, that's yeah. where little communities like this can be a real pain in the ass because they will let yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. They will let you know. Yeah. And, and then if they have to let you know a second time, it, it will not be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so these that's the thing about homeowners associations and things like that it, it gets nasty it's it's so. definitely it's interesting yeah being on that facebook group they're very it feels culty almost but mm -hmm. it's, it's cool so far no i, I haven't been bothered yeah it's I think nice I've been but following it, it, it has yeah you're absolutely right so so okay so the storm scared the crap out of you yeah yeah well oh, oh i'm sorry so so that was the second week in a row that the trash didn't get collected i yeah. didn't know that recycling was on like off weeks yeah i didn't know that was a thing so i thought the first week i got my recycling back and, and it was just all, all there. there. I'm yeah. like, what did I not put? Like, are you not supposed to what put it, that? Now what are here? they doing to me? Well, no, I, I just, I thought I did something wrong. I'm like, yeah. oh, so maybe I wasn't supposed to put this in there, yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, no, it's all there. Maybe they just, maybe something, it just, it was a slip Mistake, up. Mistake, yeah. And then the next week, the storm down, I'm like, these motherfuckers, <laughs> like, that's what we're going to do? <laughs> so it was, it was, it was definitely a confirmation. But, uh, uh, confirmation bias. That's confirmation what that bias. is. That's exactly, sure. sir. Cognitive dissonance. That's what that For is. For sure. So, so, I, I know people want to hear us talk about Brown and whatnot, but no, but I've, I've got no. some, I've got a Anything bunch of else. I, I've been I've missed you guys. I've been around for a while, and yeah. I, I have a lot of things I want. To, I need I need any I need some any input. Okay, me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what I, do you, I need what do my you buddy's need? help. I, I mean, really I do. I want to know, and we could save it if you want. I want to know how Subby Drew's going. S Subby? Subby? Oh, Drew. I tested some of your theories. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's aware of it, but I tested some of your theories. So you don't know if she's aware of it. I, we'll find out, right? We'll find out. It, it worked. Everything's good. I can go either way. <laughs> so, a switch, so, hey. So, which we're, is sort of typical. The same. Which is sort of typical, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yes, sir. And, and thank you, thank you, Nadav. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, but I got to say, it takes a lot of work, and I've been tired and sick lately, and so I maybe only did it a few times. <laughs> I thought you I, meant. I thought you meant 
from doing the sub shit. I'm like, how hard are you? No, going? no, no, no. Just <laughs> I'm it, sick. I'm it, tired. It, it takes it takes uh, inspiration to do the yeah. the to switch. Yeah, the subs yeah. easy. Subs. Then. Well, it, it takes being. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm saying sub versus dom. That's kind of switching. Yeah, but wait, you're saying that uh, doing the sub shit is is easy, and the, doing the dom shit is takes some energy. Oh, I thought you said that dom was your your like base level. I thought. Uh. uh I thought you said that that's like she kind of played the sub role naturally. Uh, gosh, I it, guess I'm. It's we're we're, we're kind of we're kind of we kind of go back and forth, right? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, and, and and a few times I've seen I've escalated the the dom part to see what see how that works. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. It is. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. It is. It's I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm but it but it but it, happy. but it but it takes it. It's not something. Here, here's something interesting. It's not something you can force. You know what I mean? It's got to be inspired. Right. Yeah, you have right. To flow and into and it. if you if Absolutely. you just do it, it becomes abusive. Like if you're just doing that, but it but oh, if doing everyone dumb shit, it, it can be it it's can be, be consent. Is what it's it is. like any other misconstrual. Like hey, what are you doing? Like why are you doing right. that? Right, it's, right, right. As, as opposed to if it's kind of working, you can kind of tell. But it requires a certain amount of energy and inspiration to get into it. And the yeah, it takes even so, more than that. It's it's energy inspiration. It takes awareness. It takes consent. It takes I'm sure you I don't know, take vulnerability. it. As, I'm sure I don't take it as far as you're. You're an expert, maybe not. Dom expert, maybe not. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I don't take it quite there. <laughs> I'm, but, I'd say I'm more of a fucking sub expert. I'm not a dom expert. No, no, no. Oh no, kidding. I'm subby as fuck, dude. Like, I mean, I, I I switch. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, like if I were to just fall into a role, like, yeah. I mean, it's fun to be fucked with. I don't know. It's, yeah. Well, I I kind of feel like as men, we're sort of lazy. That's our, our go yeah. our go to is lazy. That's kind you know of right. I mean? Exactly. And so and so if you're if somebody gives us a choice, like eh, I'm beer lazy, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm good. Yeah. And, and like, so like, like, what do you want to do? You, Just do it. That's fine. I'm good. good with all. I'm of good. It. <laughs> right. Right. And the, and I and I don't think we're unusual that way. I think yeah. men. But 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 by the same token, if if men, this is something for men to pay attention to. Is if you fall into it too much and like it, mm -hmm. women need to mix up. You, they they need variety and stuff in ways that men just need the Sunday with the cherry on top. Mm -hmm. They just have their thing, and that's that. They could be happy with that forever. Right. Not that they can't or don't appreciate switching up. They could be happy forever with just one thing. Right. And typically, women no, no. They they need things uh, moved around, e even if it's just the environment. Something something different. A uh, hundred uh, percent, and yeah. especially if they're playing like the dominant role, bro. You got, they, they tire that pretty quick. Yeah, I think. yeah, you got an expiration date, and it's coming quick. Yeah, <laughs> they that's don't want right. to do that every time. That's right. Well, Brook Linen, they were started to create beautiful, high quality essentials that do not cost an arm and a leg, and the stuff they create is so beautiful. They work directly with manufacturers. They make luxury available directly to you without those luxury markups. Brook Linen has something for every comfort need. It's ideal for refreshing seasonal linens, new products, colors, patterns all the time, buttery soft, breathable sheets, plush absorbent towels. They really do make great stuff. They are so confident in their core products that they all come with a 365-day warranty, and fans are confident too. They've received over 75,000 plus five-star reviews and counting. I love Brook Linen. I love their towels, love their sheets. So give yourself the comfort you deserve and get it for less at brook linen they really do make beautiful stuff go to brooklinen.com use promo code drew to get twenty dollars off with a minimum purchase of one hundred dollars that is b-r-o-o-k-l-i-n-e-n.com promo code drew for twenty dollars off with a minimum purchase of one hundred dollars one more time that is brooklinen.com promo code drew all right so so here we go you're going to help me with a couple of things all right so um tell me what did you see Chappelle? I did, yeah. What'd you think? Uh, I loved it. Yeah, amazing. And what about all the the heat he's getting? I mean, yeah. he's always got heat. You know, it's so it's just Chappelle being new. Chappelle. It's Chappelle being Chappelle. Yeah. I I, I thought he made an, a very compelling case. He his his ninety minutes was an arc. It was an yeah. argument, and, and he kept saying, "You need to listen to me." And he's so right. People don't listen to him. They they react to him, they and do, they don't they listen. Do what I do. Confirmation bias, right? Oh, for sure. It's a lot of that these days. It's nothing but that. Uh, and, and to be fair, he's also clear he's going hard in the paint. I mean, he's going. He he is intentionally pushing the limits and and making it hard to the things he's saying are hard to hear. It, that's him. And right. and you could argue that it's transphobic or homophobic or whatever. You you can argue that, but he's doing it for a reason. And if you miss that reason, now you can argue about 
the argument he's making, mm-hmm. but no one's doing that. No, it's no one's. He, he, correct me if I heard wrong. He was essentially saying, if you're African American, you can't punch down. We've had 400 years of doubt. We, we, if we punch, it's up. Right. And, and you can argue, is that true or not true? That's a viable thing to co- converse about, right? But to go, you shouldn't have said anything you said to make that argument, that gets weird. It, well, yeah. Right? I mean, Especially it's, for comedy. It's it's assuming that there's a message that he didn't say behind the 90 minutes of messages that he said. And yeah. it's like, I didn't say those things. I I said what I said. I said what, what I said, said, but I said it. I, there was a reason I said everything I said. And you explained the reason. And I, at, you at have to end. listen, though. You have to really listen to him right. and not react, which I, I think it's a master class. Just, now, now, anybody wants to take him on for you shouldn't have done that to make that point. It's not worth it. And I disagree with your point or I agree with your point. I'm, I'm ready to hear those arguments. But instead, it's just, bleh, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he, it becomes ad hominem. He's a bad guy. He doesn't appreciate. I mean, that's today. It's outrage, right? Outrage yeah. wins. Yeah. So, or at least outrage is the loudest. I, I so. feel like he might have created a little crack in the wall a little bit to let other people express themselves in ways that are unpleasant, but, but still free. I, I feel like it's already been kind of going that way. Like, Especially in comedy, because comedy is the is the scariest. It's supposed to be. It's the scariest one yeah. to start censoring because yeah, that's when it really. It's like you're destroying the craft by doing this. That's exactly right. So, they were always the were the ones that showed us things we didn't want to see. Yeah, you're supposed to be outside. You're supposed to be offensive and outside the box and crazy and say fucked up shit. That's the point, man. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's it's and you were saying cool. something and before the mics heated up. You were saying something What's about the baby. Speaking of Chappelle, the baby. Oh yeah, no, I just oh, what did I? Oh, shit. You're saying he's super cool. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, no, I said the man. You, the, without context, you made me sound real <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> let that me, was why I brought it up. Let me clear this up. <laughs> That's what I figured you needed to do. <laughs> let me clear this up. It's not what you think. <laughs> um. No, I, I just I, I think someone said does something, and I was like, duh. I just uh, I just word associate. That's what it. Okay. When I get high as shit, that's what I've been told that I do. I just okay. word associate. So if all you right. say something, you're high right now. We have to do this for. I'm high all the time. Oh, man. I'm fucking. I mean, I'm drinking. I'm fucking. You it's, know what I'm saying? It, to be fair, it's ten in the morning. Come on, man. I mean, Is that because you're nervous about this? I just. I, it's just because you're just because it's morning. It's just on. It's just, it's just on. It's Modelo, baby, come on. Sometimes it tastes good, you know. Another thing happened here, uh, just before the mics heated up, which is that uh, Larry Miller, he's a, uh, do you know about this story? No. He was the president of the Portland Trailblazers. He's now okay. a big exec over at uh, Nike. And he just came clean in an interview that he was in a gang as a late older teen and killed somebody intentionally. Whoa. There's yeah. no, is there a statute of limitation on Murder? I I don't know. Mm. Uh, it, I don't it, think so. <laughs> it, it was a gang payback thing. It was a you know somebody got killed. He was part of a group that went and paid back. Fuck. He he was so honest about it. He said I don't even know if that guy had anything to do with the original killing. It was just the guy we chose. We were all fucked up. We were all drunk. We were all whatever. I I just was like this man. This is courage. This is making amends. He's going to have to clean it up somehow. Oh uh, yeah, by uh, going to prison. I think. Well, that's the question. I, I mean, here here's where I got troubled by all this. Don't we want people to be rehabilitated? I mean, is there a better example of somebody fully rehabilitated than this? And couldn't he find other ways to make amends for what he did than going to prison? I mean, what would prison do? Why is that the only form of justice? I mean, I don't, you know, I'm nowhere near educated enough to say. But I mean, think about it. Alternatives for it. But I mean, it, but that is the rules. That is what we I mean, said. what if he, what if the, he just paid the family five million bucks? And I apologized and did community service for the rest of his life. I mean, I imagine that's what most rich people do when they get in trouble like that. But I mean, I imagine that is what he'll probably do. He'll probably pay well, his way out. I, I, but, but, I, but is but is that good? I mean, well, I that's the question. You know, that's the question. And by the same token, there's some other 18 year old sitting in prison right now for 60 years. You know what I mean? Yeah. For the same thing. So I, how do I, we? How do we? I don't know how you reconcile this. I don't know how you do it. Because, I, I, because, I because you that, want people to be rehabilitated, right? You want yeah. you don't want them to sit and rot in prison. You want them to be flourish and and that's what larry has done you you want them to but i don't know at the same time it's like you don't know you hear what he's saying but you can't see you can't actually see the the life that he built up to this point you just have to assume that everything that he said comes from this rehabilitated justified place but who knows if like 
deep down he's just like i gotta do this because i feel guilty and like so it's just for him there's no real just for him rehabilitation so so there's even another argument which is doesn't matter just it's just gotta the law is the law but that's what i'm saying is that i think once you start like trying to say well look at him like he's obviously this way yeah but now you make it complicated because it is complicated but like look at parole that's what yeah, parole is. It's that's the true. same thing. That's it's like, true. look what he's done. He's a good guy. He's done everything. It's a, let's let him keep going in the real world. That's true. And and it's a part of a broken system. But yes. but, but at least it's a system, though. Like, yes. I, I think it's better to stick to, and, and I say this as someone that listens to zero rules, but I, I think if, you know, from a society <laughs> standpoint, you should listen to. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about rules, but I'm just saying, <laughs> like, you know, if I was a lawmaker, right. I would if, say. If, if world according to Annie, okay, your rules. It's, it's, uh, it's I mean, my rules, everyone's dying. Like, it's, it's anarchy. There's no fucking oh, you Oh, you're going to anarchy. Okay. Oh, for sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. Just do what you want to do, you know, but, but you, that's even, why I'm even, not in power. All oh, right, right. That would be terrible. That would be terrible. But, but, yeah. I, but I understand, you know, from a third party that a well, society this will be needs interesting. structures. Let's so. see how this plays out. It'll be really interesting. I, I cannot reconcile it in my head, let alone in reality. Yeah. Which is, it's crazy. You know, on one hand, you know, why should he get a, any kind of pass just because he's been lucky? And a lot of people say lucky enough to, to have the life he's had. Maybe even more he should pay it up. Yeah. Or should he use all this he's created to create a more meaningful payback for what he's done? Or both. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's a combination. I, I don't know. I think the question too is. I'm glad I mean, I'm not. Uh, I, I, the, the, con, the, the topic of justice confuses me. Yeah. It, it's yeah. Because I don't think people even know what they're saying when they say justice anymore. I, I don't know what I don't know what we're looking for. It's, Re- it's, retribution. It's outrage. Yeah. <laughs> outrage. <laughs> gratification. Forks, what, what do we want here? What's going on? Yeah. Uh, and or do we want a, a world where everybody flourishes optimally, which is what I'd like. But even that, I get confused about this. So anyway. The only thing so, I know, man, is that I want Drew making the decisions. There we go, buddy. What are we going to do? That's right. Now, here. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yes, sir. All right. So the Booth Boys are quite a distance. Well, one Booth Boy is here. Yes. We're short a few Booth Boys. Chris and I have had a love fest together uh, out in California. Oh, cheating yeah, on me. That's know, cool. Gotten to know a bit. Wow. I, poor Chris. Well, we Chris, didn't talk about this. No, this I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. Open. I think. I think you have no. to discuss it if it's. If you're you right. Well, that's it. why I bring it up. Okay. I bring it up, and, and I, I because you guys have uh, strong personalities. Mm-hmm. Chris got gets kind of pushed in the background of it, and so it was yeah. nice. It was nice to kind of talk to him and him be. He was more. He's more present when you guys aren't around. Not that not you guys <laughs> bother him. He just we do. He, he, he just he's he's much quieter. He's much quieter. Yeah. And I was sort of actually a little surprised, like some animation and some personality. And oh man, wow. This time, yeah. Oh, shit, didn't I cheat. I didn't cheat. Just we got to know him. Just we just. We it doesn't matter, baby. We didn't even hang out. We didn't even hang out. Just it was just on phone, phone conversation. I know this conversation. So. <laughs> I fucking I'm, I've been this guy. All right. You can't trick me with this shit. It's it's like fucking. It's like when girls invite me to gay bars. It's the same thing as guys like brush on me like, hey, have I met you before? I'm like, I know these tricks, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm a dude. You can't, oh, yeah, you, yeah. Can't get, you can't, get, you can't get away with this shit. Yeah, it's true. You know I know what you're trying gay to do. Doesn't mean they're not using good dude tricks. I, I know yeah. what you're trying to do. You can't pull 100%. the dude tricks on me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, this. are you using dating apps here? What are you doing? I mean, hey, man. You know, I got friends. I'm have fun. You know, I do what so, I do. So, friends of friends kind of thing. Here? I don't know. I just that was a non-answer. So, the dating sure apps was d- dating apps. Yes or no. <laughs> Do you, no. do you like them? You don't like them. No, nah, I hate so you find apps. other ways of meeting people. So. Yeah. Do, you, do you go into town? No, you don't have a car. I mean, you know, I find my way. Yeah. You Uber and stuff. Mm-hmm. And have you, were, do you go down 2nd Avenue or 2nd Street, whatever that is? Uh, I think it's, is it East 6th? That's the cool, I, I forget. There's like a 6th that you're not supposed to go to because it's scary, which is like, yeah. I come from Van. It's like, yeah, nah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like basically y- y'all hear Compton and you think like crazy gang fights. Like, dude, that was like where I grew up. Yeah. Um. But there's that side, and then there's the I think east side of Sixth, which is like kind of it's still kind of gritty, but it's like cool, you know. There's okay. like fun bars and stuff. Nice that place. That is that college stuff or just towns? rain? Rainy Street is college stuff. That's rainy, rainy street. It's basically it's like a uh, it's like an aisle of uh, or a it's street like these, of houses that it's were like turned these little into bungalows. Bars. Yeah, it's little bungalows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I remember last time I was here. I think I've yeah. been on that street. But it's all development. I was here in 1997. It's all great. Yeah, that was so. They said this started as a small town, right? Like very oh, small yeah. towny vibes. And well, the the the, the, uni- the university's huge, mm-hmm. and as that got bigger and bigger, that's what kind of turned this thing. And it's a capital city, right? Isn't it? Is, Austin is Austin the capital. Help me. Yes. Yes. Thank it you. It is. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. So there you go. Wow. 
Um, all right, let's get some voice messages in here. We're, we're Danny and I are having too much of a love fest. So you guys wanted us together. We of course are going to get into shit that we want to get into when we're together face to face. Of course, yeah. And and, and man, after these uh, voicemails, you got something that you're going to do for me that I've been trying to get out of you for a long time. But I'm not going to suck your dick now that. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> It's called boundaries, sir. Boundaries. We can maintain our friendship, but but I'm a married man. They always come around, Drew. <laughs> they always come around. <laughs> so okay, what, who's what, ready for voicemail? Wait, 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 I want to know what it was he's trying to get out of me. You'll see. All right. See. Is it from the voicemails? No. It's something after the voicemails. It could be any time. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Voice messages. Dr. Drew. So, yeah, I got a question for you. Why do you never see women with like a receding airline like just the thought of seeing a woman with like a horseshoe horseshoe pattern baldness yeah it never happens like it just i guess women do lose their hair but like i've never seen receding hairline predominantly receding hairline on a woman can you explain this i'm not going to be coming up in may sorry but uh hey hitler hey buddy um not going to be coming up. In, who says that? He, a guy who's really, really, really drunk. <laughs> so, 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 dude, you may want to. I, I, I know my people. You may want to kind of think about that problem. Just, just saying. Wow, you uh, called them out. But as I bet you're 100 percent accurate too. Oh, I, I know it when I see it. Uh, oh, and, and so, uh, as far as the receding hairline, you're not around older women. By older, I mean significantly older. And women lose hair. They, it's a little more global loss. You'll see you know, women in their 75-plus years where, where it's very – and they get perms and things to sort of cover it up. It gets thinner. But it gets Super thin. very thin. But you will see male pattern baldness in the future because there's more testosterone replacement in women, and that is precipitating male pattern baldness. And they do all kinds of things to trick you with extensions and things like that so you don't see it. Right. So they can do a lot of stuff to sort of retard the, the hair loss with you know, Rogaine and stuff like that. Uh, and they do a lot of, they're experts. They're experts in, in you know, how they, you know, with makeup and yeah. hair. So they, they know what they're doing. Yeah. And if they get a male pattern balding, they'll have it. You won't see it. You won't see it. Mm. So how about that? I, uh, you know, no, I mean, I, I have seen, um, I've been around, yeah. Where it's it's not, yeah, it's not like the horseshoe, but it so, is. Yeah, it's not. Thin. It's not this, but no. you, but it'll be receding. It's like mine. It'll be like this. It'll be like my hair. All right, give me another one. Hey, do a daddy. Mm. It's uh, Andrew from Portland, Oregon. Quick question here. So I've been like chronically masturbating since I was like sixteen. It's been like a decade now. I'm not trying to brag, but um, do your balls get shorter over time? Shorter. I mean, smaller over time. Smaller. Like depending on how much you unload, like buckets, <laughs> ounces whatever um just to you know just wanted to see your thoughts um ay 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 you bet i'm coming up in may and oh get off what was that oh my god was that, oh. was that, 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 that was uh rpc yep. when at the end of uh one when he the first time that he came on on screen oh yeah he said oh, oh get yeah off. Oh, but yeah, it's not yeah. he said it all get off it's not get off man come on what does he say? It's again. He's like, again, oh, yeah. again, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. RPC, I miss the boy. Has he been with Everybody us? Everybody misses RPC. Has he been? Uh, has he been communicating or anything? He's been chilling, you know. He's, he's been figuring, figuring stuff out. He's, he's back on Instagram. He's doing live videos again. Okay, he sure is. Yeah, are they good? <laughs> They're great. Yeah, <laughs> if you like RPC, yeah. Can we uh, bring the them onto a future show here? And take uh, a look I'm, at him. Not on YouTube, I don't think. I don't think YouTube likes his content. Oh yeah! Damn, it's not very. Can, you can't edit it, Nadav, in such a way that I can see it. Uh, <laughs> just, just to see the costumes and stuff. I don't have to get into the. You know, does he still do costumes? He's he can, not costumes, but he's gone into the Instagram filters a lot. Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, wow. And and by the way, YouTube lets piss piss on me, beat me, but no, uh, ex, no. Uh, well, you can say almost anything. Almost, it's the doing it. It's the scene. I see. Yeah, you can't. I, see. You know? so I, I don't particularly want to see that either. Thank you. Not a lot of people um, do. Not a lot of people. Some yeah. people do though. And However, if you, do, you can go to his OnlyFans. Uh, well, good for them. Um, but but a lot of people have come up uh, in May. No, come up on Twitter with, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, on Twitter have come up with uh, why aren't you and Tom taking him out to dinner? Why aren't we setting that up? Uh, as though as though he had brought it up. Like mm -hmm. they told me they're taking me out to dinner. When are we going to do this? 
Tom said he wants he wants he and I to go to Per Se with yeah. him. Per Se is the stuffiest restaurant in New York. You should. And uh, I, that's almost should. too much. That's too stuffy for me. I can't I, even. <laughs> I I look like RPC when I try to eat there. <laughs> and so and so we just should go to a nice restaurant, not somewhere that's just obnoxiously it's, over the top. That's funny. I was actually uh, you you are uh, very kindly offering us a, a dinner tonight. Yeah, and, yeah. And I was definitely considering like, should I just show up like slummy Van Nuys as fuck? You know, coming in with. With with lame, you know what I mean. But, I, but I don't use my know. wife. She'll, yeah, she'll yeah. be like, "What are you? What are you she'll doing?" Like, she'll be like, "What? What's, what's, what's like, wrong is, with you?" Is Annie... <laughs> right. Right. Well, no, it wouldn't even be that. It was just like, "What is? Just, why did you?" I get this all the time. <laughs> why, why didn't you pay attention? Why are you dressing right? Oh it's my confusion! Oh it's, my it's confusion! It was. Oh my god! It was. Was it on a live show? You, we called you on a show, and that was the funniest interaction I've ever heard from your wife, where you were talking about. I God, it was some about like shitting or or if your asshole <laughs> looks or sounds or whatever, and you were giving us like a legitimate answer. You were just you know your yeah. usual like mm-hmm. very forward, just mm-hmm. an, a legitimate answer. Yeah. You, you weren't like just I got someone to be. Hey, could you just, like just answer the question? Just answer yeah. the question. And in in the background, your wife was like, "We're having dinner. <laughs> it's a restaurant. It's true. Everyone's it's true. looking. It's, it's the true. funniest yeah, shit. She can <laughs> she cannot stand." vomit or shit talk around mealtime. It really is. I'm like, you're married to a physician. I, I'm talking about all kinds of stuff at dinner for years. Eh? It's funny that you're saying that. Like, that's crazy. She's like, she can't handle vomit and shit at dinner. Like, what a, <laughs> come on. She's it, a wild woman. Vomit and shit. What's the big deal? Yeah, but, it, but, it's, but it's, it's one thing to do horrible descriptive stuff like we do here. But just the words. If I, if, if I say the word diarrhea at dinner, oh my God, oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> but who would want to hear see, diarrhea see, during I, dinner? I, I, if, if I weren't married to her, I'd be married to you. Come on. It's the same, you're the same person. It's, uh, it's pretty clear. <sighs> tell you so, what, you wouldn't be cheating on me if you so, fucking married me. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. It's true. I don't, I don't cheat. That's right. <laughs> I'm telling you. You're just talking to him. Just, I just flirt. I don't, I don't cheat. Um, all right. Give me another one. <laughs> just have fun. <laughs> hey, Daddy Drew. Whoa. I'm wondering, have you ever been so hungry that you get nauseous mm. and the thought of food makes you want to gag and throw up? I'm just wondering why my body does that because sometimes I forget to eat all day and then I'll run out of energy and be like about to pass out. But the thought of food makes me absolutely disgusted mm. do you have any insight on that let me know um it's because maybe we're like past the point of return our body's just like huh. mm, you can die right there or is it something else <laughs> just let me know um uh, piss on me beat me you better coming up in may and there she That's is it. But as always she's one of mine by the way oh yeah 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 Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. Yeah, I hear it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's funny. You can hear stuff in the voice. It's it's very true. 100%. So, uh if you'd like to if you're in the Austin area, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I got a nice house. And, and he's got a beautiful house. Not Drew's a nice, here now. This is a nice house. We're all set up here. Free lease and a key. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a big ghost out in the front yard. It's fantastic. Um but yeah, I get I get that. I get what you're hearing. And and we should we should you and I should focus in on that a little bit and and sort of new break it down even further. If we get enough female callers in here, we can we can we can see if we're right. And you guys should call us back again and say, "Yep, you got us. That's it." Definitely. Uh, so uh, that's unusual. Uh, whenever I hear people say that they're so hungry they're going to pass out, I, that's you don't really you don't unless you're diabetic and taking medication, you don't really pass out from hypoglycemia. It just doesn't happen. You can feel sort of out of it and not right and hungry, and it's, it's not a pleasant state to be in, but it's not going to harm you. Humans are designed to go days, if not weeks, without eating, right? Not without drinking, but you can go quite some time without eating. And you get weak, but you don't get, you don't typically don't pass out unless there's some underlying, underlying medical problem. But be that as it may, this is unusual. Now, certainly when you have an empty stomach for a long period of time, that stomach can cramp and you can get a lot of acidity in the, in the, in the stomach. And so it makes sense to me that you might get even nausea and maybe that's triggering some disgust. But it, your thing is sort of unusual. And by the way, what are we doing here? I'm opening the beer. Time for beer. Yeah, look at that. Um, but it just kind of kind of maybe pay attention. <laughs> it's better for you. Clearly somebody will be benefited from frequent meals. So let's let's take care of that. Give me another one. Hey, Mommy, it's Jim. Um, Jim. I'm having an issue with my butthole. I think I gave myself either like an anal fissure or like a hemorrhoid 
Uh, long story short, I went on a road trip this weekend on my motorcycle, mm. and now my butthole won't start hurting. It feels really flared up, and it kind of hurts when I wipe. Mm-hmm. It also hurts when I sit down for too long. Mm-hmm. So uh, what should I do? Should I go to my doctor? It's a little bit embarrassing. I don't really want a grown man looking at my brown balloon knot, so maybe you can give me some advice. All right. Ugh. All right, so here's the deal. First of all, there are female gastroenterologists and proctologists if you want uh and both the, the female and the grown male spend all day looking at people's assholes that's what they do that's their job so it's not going to bother him or her at all uh and that kind of irritation is typically hemorrhoid typically from prolonged sitting and you know the this bearing down and whatnot and uh, you might try some warm bath hot baths and cortisone cream uh, particularly something called anusol hc if you can get your hands on that that's very good it could be a fissure, it could be proctitis, it could be other things, but uh, all of it, at least initially, you want to try the sitz baths and the uh, the cream. Hey, dermatotillomania. Suffer with dermatotillomania, and sometimes it gets out of control. I pick up my skin, cuticles, which is dermatotillomania. There, there's trichotillomania, which is hair pulling, and dermatotillomania, which is picking, oh, or picker picking. syndrome. I would pluck each of my leg hairs out with tweezers. That's trichotillomania. Mm. Uh, I lose track of time while picking. I get into sort of a trance, and it's embarrassing. My psych has me on SSRI, but they don't seem to help. Anxiety medicines can sometimes calm it. I'm in DBT therapy, but I've suffered from this since I was 13. I'm now 35. Any other treatment? I'm also bipolar, ADHD, OCD, and anxiety disorder. Good time. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Somebody beat me. Thanks, Mommy. Um, so uh, the the if you're going to get an effect from an SSRI when it comes to picking and hair picking or, or skin picking... You need very high dose, and typically um, Zoloft can be okay, but some of the other ones are typically better. Paxil is one that sort of classically is, is thought of, and you need to take like 60 to 100 milligrams of that one, and, and Zoloft you'd need 200 plus. I mean, it's it's the high dose, and in those high doses, you're getting other side effects. Uh, the picking syndromes, if it's not caused by meth or, or anything else, you know, it's a substance, which it typically is, if it's related, it can be related to the bipolar too. So you want to make sure your mood, you're on a mood stabilizer. Mine was OCD. Oh, you had picking too? For sure. When Pick, I was a kid. Picking of hair or, or skin? Skin. Skin. It was my, I still, I, I still have a, is there a scar somewhere right around here? You know, but adoles- was it adolescent or child? It was adolescent. Yeah. Adolescent yeah. do a lot of picking normally. The skin's changing. They're messing with their face all the time. Yeah. And, and there's, particularly I, mid I adolescent. I went a little in. Though. No, I hear you. I oh, understand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but mid, I just want to make people aware that there's a normal range on that in mid adolescence, where there's a lot of looking in the mirror, a lot of fucking with things. Um, gotcha. But if you hurt yourself, you know, cause a scar, that kind of thing, then you're kind of in that other zone. And yeah. OCD is is sort of a typical reason for that. Um, I, I think I had a certain amount of that. My, I'm, I'm you know, like I told you, I worry about the. This yeah, it's been driving range. me fucking <laughs> yeah, insane. Me I'm just thinking about camera <laughs> angles. I'm like, I don't want to block your face, you know, but like. I'll just die inside, I guess. That's cool. We're, we're yeah. obsessing about the wrinkles in the sheets. Here, yep. So that's yep. what we're obsessing about. <clears throat> They're there. You know what? We yeah. talked about it. The dog right. thinks we're funny. Yeah, go do it. That's what I'm... Both of us are relieved by that. Get it all the way, man. Come on. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when if you come in a room... Yeah, I feel the same way. You guys are the perfect couple. We are the perfect couple. If you come in a room, do you have to straighten the paintings out and stuff? It, I try not to look at paintings. But if it's sitting there uh, askew. I'm going to fix yeah, it. Me too. So. I'm going to fix it. So thank you for doing this. I That's feel much better. You're welcome. Good. I feel good too. Yeah, it looks better. It's good. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, there are behavioral treatments for this. Uh, that's the other thing. Uh, and so you're going to want to uh, e- e- avail yourself of some of those behavioral interventions. The SSRIs and the medicines often are ineffective. The trichotillomania and the dermatotillomania typically are chronic conditions and don't really fully go away. Hey, Canada, I have a question regarding my yellow. I've noticed that my streams are really wide and forceful. Good for you, sir. Or is that female? Uh, but also when I pee, it doesn't last long. I've seen and heard some men in urinals. They pee for what seems like forever. I'm done in seconds. Why is this? Why is this? It should Prostate? be something I need to worry about. Yeah, it's so funny. Men men worry about everything, even though it's good. I mean, this he's able to evacuate his bladder quickly with no obstruction. Good. That's not bad. As long as you're not leaking or dribbling or anything like that. It's good. Uh but it's uh, it, men are always wondering, am I normal? Am I normal? Am I normal? Am I normal? This is the constant preoccupation for men. The 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 fastest peer I've ever met in my life, Andy Dick. <laughs> Andy fastest Dick. peer. He did it here, Nadav. Do you remember? Not here, but in Studio Jeans. <laughs> yeah. When was he in Andy's house? Um, <laughs> remember, I mean, he went. He went. He goes. I gotta pee, and he was like, Okay, let's go. It was like that long. He goes, I'm going to the bathroom. I gotta pee, and he just came right back. That that and, usually means no hydration, right? Uh. Because that, that's what he says. He pees a, a normal amount. Doesn't it also possibly mean that he's not peeing in there? 
That's what I always thought. And I can actually, in Studio Jeans, I confronted him about that because it was so startling how fast it was. And he goes, no, it's just, I can just do it really fast. It's always been for me. So, whatever. <laughs> well, I can speak from experience at least. Uh, I used to worry about the same thing when I was a kid. I thought that it meant you had a bigger dick if you peed longer. I, I thought that for a real long time. Real long time. Let me tell you, first of all, not true, luckily. Number two... Uh, it's it's water consumption, you know. It's like well, the the amount, but yeah, if but, you hydrate like crazy, yeah, you're gonna yeah. piss for fucking forever. Yeah, but the, if you but don't, the, you won't. But the flow rates, there are average flow rates. I mean, when you go to urologist, they actually make you pee into this instrument that checks your flow rates. <laughs> and, flow and, rates. Yeah, the, the in <laughs> other like words, a fucking insurance company. It, it's <laughs> the amount of amount of you know the volume per unit time, right? That comes out mm-hmm. and the the bore of the penis. Uh-huh. So. To some extent, speed is associated with the larger penis, right? Because if it's a larger bore urethra, mm-hmm. it's coming out quicker. You mean a girthier urethra? Bigger, like more, higher circumference, oh, so like larger urethra. circumference. Yeah, the, pol- the pee goes, hole. That, why would that go? F- oh, because there's Cause more volume in it. There's more volume oh, per unit time. Yeah, that, that makes Bernoulli's sense. law. Yeah. All right, here we go. Big sloppy hangers. Ready? Should I save this? <laughs> Fuck I save, yeah. I'm just wondering if I should save this for Christina. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to say this for Christina. I think Do I, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh my God, we have so many crazy, infuriating mouth noises. This sounds like an OCD thing. This is for you and me. Uh, okay. okay. I've noticed mouth for the past noise. couple of years now, I have this problem where I become infuriated by hearing people's mouth noises. You've you've talked about this with white guys and saliva. Oh, the oh uh, yeah, the, yeah. Mm. A lot of people. Who, <coughs> excuse me. A lot of people who are close to me in my life either smack their lips while they eat, slurp when they drink, or just breathe loud, which makes me angry to the point where I find myself clenching my fist. Uh, I'm usually mellow. This makes me feel bad about getting angry and uncomfortable. What happens? Any advice on this would be any advice on how not to be such a dickhead next time I catch grandpa smacking his lips at dinner? Well, old people have drier mouths and they do a lot of smacking. That's a normal neurological part of aging. Yeah. But, uh, I know what you're talking about. For a lot of, for some people, it manifests. It's very much like chalks, uh, fingers, uh, fingernails on the chalkboard, right? Same kind of thing. Mm. And for a lot of people, it's open mouth eating or, or you know, the seeing and chomping and all that kind of stuff. It can be very. It's it's I, for some reason uh, it's part of that. What is that syndrome called? Oh, you guys are gonna being a pussy. No, being a pussy is part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but there's a, a thing called you know, like a. It's got a aphonia, I think it's called, where where, oh. where he sounds really bug you, really bug. It's not aphonia. It's like mm. oh, audiophile. It, it's, no. it's it's it's. Uh, Dov, you want to you want to got a chance to look at? It? I can look it up on my phone. Um, yeah, sorry, I only have yeah. two hands. Let me do it. Let me do it. I know that. I know that. So let me do it. So it is. Um, sounds driving people crazy. Oh, I wonder if that's a thing where the in that one clip when they were like, "Please misophonia. don't use misophonia." Please. Oh, is that what it is? Is yeah. that is that? Do you, did you see the the meeting where they were like, "Please don't shout loudly. People are trying oh, to." That's diff- That's a. Li- that's in the. That's in that relationship. It, that's, yeah, and that's, that's why more they were, they sensory were overload. Clapping their hands that's like sensory this. Sensory overload. <laughs> Let, this is a little different. Let me read you the definition of misophonia. Okay. Condition known as misophonia. Certain sounds like slurping, chewing, tapping, clicking can elicit an intense feeling of rage or panic. <laughs> there it is. So our caller here has misophonia. I thought that was that thing you could sue for back in the day. I don't know. Like when, when they were like, do you have... Mesothelioma? Ah, oh, that's That's it. mesothelioma. Uh, that's yeah. a, what is that? Is that the those, lung cancer? Is that asbestos and shit? Asbestos. Uh, it's the lining yeah. of the lung. Now I'm wondering is because uh, mesophonia be treated. Uh, yeah, mesophonia words, sound, yeah. There's no treatments listed here. Yeah. Why? Is, it's all. Hold on. Hold on. It's, hold on How about grow up? How about not being a pussy? Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. Yeah. I, I like that yeah, as a grow general a fucking pair. No, I like that as a general response to many things. Don't Just be a pussy. Figure it out, man. The fuck? Yeah, it's a like, friend of mine is an army ranger, and he said uh, when he was jumping out of the plane into Fallujah, they just said to each other, don't be a pussy. Yeah. And it's, that, that applies to life in a lot of places. Well, because you know the thing These too, days especially. Of course these days. Yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, God damn. I mean, I don't even want to uh, to go deep into that, but it's like, yeah, imagine what you just said, jumping off of a of a skydiving, yes, right? Out of yes. a fucking plane. With, with, you know, with, a, with a rifle. Imagine if somebody talked really loud in front of you in that moment. Are you freaking out? No, because you're doing something actually like terrifying That's that right. is it is a life-changing. You use your survival instincts to 
get that shit out of your fucking well, life. Well, so you're really jump. You're like, you're you're bringing up a really interesting. So this today's today's good. Not only it's not just about balls. We, <laughs> what else is testes, it about? It's about a, a life philosophy, which I always know I can get from you. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Although it sounds funny, <laughs> but I but I look to you for this kind of stuff, which is which is that you can expose yourself to things that put things in perspective. Yes. Like, like it's a good thing. Yes. This idea of safe spaces is the opposite of what's good for you. It keeps so, you right where you are. That's right. And so when somebody has like an anxiety or a phobia, we expose them systematically until they're not phobic anymore. And that's what life should be about. It helps you deal with all your circumstances where you're being a pussy. And you need to not be a pussy. So fear is irrational. Well, has an irrational component to it. And you need to be able to manage it. I'm more and more thinking that Stoic philosophers, you know, Ryan Holiday, do you know who he is? I don't know any He's names. He's a friend of mine. He's there. People, a lot of people probably know Ryan Holiday is probably. Uh, but I, I was talking to him the other day on a different podcast, and, and it's just, Stoicism is like a check on all these cognitive distortions we have. They they, they give you aphorisms to live by, and, and and it's things like this. It's like, don't be a pussy. Do things that, that enhance your, expand your ability to function, yeah. not restrict it. And being in a safe space restricts it. So expand, and we started this conversation about talking about the white people here in your neighborhood, right. <laughs> that exposure and contact is how we go forward. It's how things are better. Mm-hmm. So everybody, listen to Eddie, is what I'm saying. Just listen to Eddie. This is, this is what we do here. And uh, and then I'm looking forward to you. Uh, I'm Drew's right hand man, baby. Thumping on my wife when she gets. Her We're gonna whoa, that. thumping. On, whoa. I mean, like a melon. I gotta figure out what's going on. Still don't get it. What thumping, uh, thumping like a on, melon? Thumping on her head. Uh-huh. On her head. On her head. Let's okay. see if I got everything I wanted Not to talk to you about. Uh, by the way, I like that caller that called me Daddy Drew. That was a that was a new. I you did pet, like that. Yeah, I did like that. That's ah, good. There's so a guy that we just met that does not like getting called Daddy. That's good that you do. Who who is that? Oh, it's just a guy. We can't bring him up, but it's uh, it, it was this kid that gets called Daddy and. Because, you know, when you say it, it's well, especially if a guy is saying it. It's Look, da- Daddy you Drew know? is, uh, you can call me Mommy Drew, but it doesn't have the same ring to it. Of course it, it doesn't. It, yeah. So Daddy it, Drew is sort of, it's sort of a homage to your mom's house. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Um, all right. Where are we going to go for dinner? I'm taking you guys out there. What, what, do, you eat? what do you want to eat? Uh, you shouldn't ask me that. Why? Because we will eat some trash fucking, you know. Yeah. You like pepperoni pe- pizza, Yeah. Do, do you like cold pizza? Because I got a lot of that. Is that the, the only thing you'll eat? Um, I, I'll, I'll eat anything, but if you make it my choice, I'm just gonna eat the easiest thing. You know what I'm saying? I I, I told a girl I would take her out, and then I ended up we we just had cheese pizza out of my air fryer. It's like that's the Dom. Where should we go for dinner? Air fryer. Yeah. How does it? How does it? How does air fry food? Somebody asked, and I'm like, I, I don't have an answer. It's just uh, it's hot air that then gets circulated around. So it's sort of crusty the, food. It's not really fried. It is. Yeah. 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 It's crusty. Okay. Yeah. 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 So Nadav, like where should we go for dinner? Where, where, what's Nadav really telling me? I know he wants something. I mean, look, I'm, 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 uh, I could eat anything, you know. It's oh my I'm god, down, you guys are impossible. Okay, no, I'm down, you know, steak, some fucking meat, some but sort of somebody, meat. But somebody, somebody was talking to Susan. I don't know if it was you or Nadab, uh, that uh, this is not a steak part of Texas. Steaks is more further. What? Oh, there's steaks here. There's bar- there's crazy barbecue. Here. Okay. With crazy barbecue. That's yeah. what she was told. Like get get the barbecue, not the steaks. It's oh, not like Dallas steaks, you know. I guess not. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's do barbecue. All right, we'll do something like barbecue or steaks. Yeah. Uh, Any, it was everything I expected. I hope it's everything oh, that everyone had wanted. Hold they, on, they, Chief. They, they wanted a reunion. They wanted us together, and we did it. And hold I'm so happy with that. Hold on, Chief. Uh oh, what do you have? You didn't get a chance to bring this thing up. You wanted to get out of me, so no, to speak. No, I did not. You're going right. to need to clear this table. Okay, hold yeah, on. Hold you're going to need to do that right there. I got it. I got to get that out of the way. All right, Chief. So, is there oh, a question? Arm we can do an arm wrestle. Is there a question that you want to ask me? Is there a question that you've that you've asked me in the past, for instance, that I haven't answered? I'm, I'm, there's plenty of things I know I haven't answered because I've been like, no, nah, not this time. There was one point, I forget what I was even asking, but you were like, no, 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 no. And I thought, okay, I'll stop there. Put it, is there anything that you would want to know, period, that you would, that it, if you had like a, a pass, you could just make me answer? No matter what, I don't get to say no. Or, or make me do, actually. Is there... Any type it really of no nothing because you've been you've been more than forthcoming. You've been extremely gracious with me and with this audience mm-hmm. in being honest and open to a lot of stuff that other people and you and you started getting like like feeling like maybe it was too much. I, I remember at one point, and that's fine. Everybody has that point. That was just because of the move and and everything all together. So it the was answer is no, so no. You've been no, extre- no. but but it, but go ahead. You can do. do you me. want ten thousand dollars? Do do I want ten thousand yeah. dollars? Sure. All right. 
If you win, you get ten thousand dollars. What do you get if you win? A win. Is this an arm wrestling? I just need you, to, because really what it is, is I need you to try. I, I, I It bothers me to know okay. that you're not going to try. I will try. I'll you're going to try not as 10, hard as you can. Try. I think so. I try to be honest. I, I try to trust you guys. Don't try to be honest. Be honest. Okay, because you know, like with Christina and stuff, I, I go, we're, we're talking about wearing diapers and shit at one point. <laughs> I, I went where I have to go. <laughs> so so I, I trust you guys, and I go places I, I don't belong. Yeah. And so that's sort of what I have to do here. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I just wanted to do it. All right, go. We've been talking about it for a long time. All right. Yeah, I want to arm wrestle. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. But, but I, I have a fucked up elbow and shoulder. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. So, so it, uh, like, if, if it starts to hurt me, I'll let you know. Eddie, do not injure the talent. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. I, I am not a good arm wrestler. Okay. But let's doing? try it. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Also, try. remember that this table kind of sucks, so don't put too much pressure yeah, on when, it. Yeah. When when it goes. No, I think we got it. I think it's good. All right now, see you, already your your angle of your arm is gonna fuck with me. You, you got a, you got a long arm from here to here compared to mine. Really? You see that? Yeah. No. But let's try it, and we'll we'll hold hands here in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh you've done this before. Yeah. You said you, you said you're bad. Right. And Nadav, count, count us in. Ready in Hamesh, Arba, Shalosh, Steim. Yeah, you're gonna win. Let's go. Let's go. All right, and he's getting it, and he's getting it. Yeah, he's got it. Oh. And a lot of, a lot of that was. I pulled the muscle on my shit. Fuck no! It's all right. A lot of that is my my shoulder can't can't do it. It's too old aging shoulder, man. But I knew I knew it'd be like that. And by the way, you have a good technique that that wrist. You did that wrist turn, and once you once you pulled the wrist over, which is part of that leverage you've got. I don't know if you saw that. Look, you did this. You you did that, and and that that gave you the advantage. And I couldn't I couldn't do anything after that. I did. Yeah, it's good. It's a smart move. I didn't even mean to. I didn't even mean to. Play, I swear I didn't. Play the video back. No, it's a good move. Oh, okay. It's how you win. Oh. So good for you. All right. I still don't think you fucking tried. I, I, dude, I, I still can't believe. Dude, I, it, dude I, 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 my strength is in very, very specific areas. Like, it's just doing this. In I'm your very dick? Strong at. My dick, too. That's very strong. You, again, it. we'll talk about wipe We'll no. dick wrestle but, next. But you understand, it, it, doing this with my shoulder, I immediately get pain just, just doing that. Gotcha. And so once you get past this point, I have to kind of let it go because I, okay. I can't bring it back. All right. So All right. it's an old man problem. I, I willfully subject myself to you. It's good. It's awesome. Uh, I it's too bad that there. I, I couldn't have won that ten grand. It would have been nice. I, I <laughs> but, wish. I but, wish. I wish that you really wanted to. Th that's why I wanted to know if you wanted to ask me something because I'm like, what? What would he want to actually make him like? No, no, no. Really I was. Try, I know? was trying. I, it, it's you don't understand how weird it is. I I think it's weird too because I mm. didn't anticipate having these kinds of joint problems when I got older. Yeah. It's it's weird. It, it's a weird thing. It's not like you can like. Because you don't expect it, you because you, you feel strong, and then all of a sudden you get these f fucked up. You, they hurt in certain movements and stuff. I can it's, get that. I I, it's, I feel it's, that with jumps. I can't jump anymore. Yeah, it's, well, you got jumping. you got plenty of time, plenty of jumping ahead. Yeah, right, but sure. we can do we can do a few more. You know, we can do three out of five or something or two out of three. But I, I can yeah. tell I can tell mechanically it's going to be rough for me. So. Hmm. All right. Thank you for being here, well, sir. Good game. Thank yeah, you. Well finally done. doing it with me. I've yeah. been asking you for you have been you over have been. a year. You finally did it. I, I want, as I said, I trust and I want to go with you guys <laughs> and whatever. And it was a small, a small task compared to yeah. you know stuff. Some of the stuff that Christina asked being me in a diaper. Yeah, yeah, that's it's not, not as difficult. Not as yeah, weird. Yeah. <laughs> His face is not as weird. But we'll, we'll get that reuniting going, and we'll and hopefully we'll have you back at some point because I, I really do. You're a place I can go to ask difficult questions and help help me. Well, it's um, it's it's. It's uh, I'll, I'll super. I'll make it super short because I know I know we gotta go. Yeah. Uh, I I feel like the reason why I say some things sometimes that put people in that light where they're like kind of forced to look at things different is just because I don't get how anything kind of works. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Um. I don't look at anything almost the same and, way. And you have a really specific experience. I do. And, and, and I just did the most stupid but smart thing last night long story short the the i have a mac on top of a tv stand that's under a tv and the mac barely covered the tv so i'm like i need to shorten it and it has a stand so i bought a handsaw and i sawed the back of the tv stand i, I put a hole in it and then i put the mac through that and and now it's like it's it's standing like on an at an angle. It looks like a touch screen. It looks real fucking nice. Like nice. I'll I'll try to put pictures up if I can. But um, but at the same time, I almost set my house on fire. 
because I sawed inside uh-huh. with no ventilation. I didn't uh-huh. have any windows open or anything. I had sparks that were going into the TV stand nice. and I'm sitting on the couch and I'm just admiring my work. I'm like, that looks really fucking cool. Like, that's such a smart idea that I came up with. And then I see smoke coming out of the TV stand. I'm like, oh no. Huh. I'm like, oh, maybe there's some sawdust in there. I open the fucking TV stand smoke just oh my gosh flows out wow. of the tv stand and i have to open all the windows i was like making sure that a fire wasn't gonna happen wow i am insanely stupid but like i have some cool stuff that i think of sometimes because i just don't go through life the same way right <laughs> i don't right. go through life the same right. way as anybody else i admire that it's speaking uh, of somebody it's fun but it's it's crazy who goes sometimes. through life a little different different i'm noticing your josh potter hat now oh yeah is uh, he doing good is he coming out here is there uh, I don't not I don't think so. I don't think he has any plans of coming out here. But um, he's good. He's still doing his show. He's running out of a uh, Sickler Studio. And the Dom, are we uh, getting any further with the surgeries for him? Um, as far oh. as I'm aware, he is still not into so it. So weird. He needs that thing taken out. <laughs> yeah, he ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it until until it erodes into his spine. Until it's osteomyelitis. Oh yeah. my god. Well, all right, everybody. Say your prayers for Josh Parter. <laughs> Any thank you as always. Nadav, thank you, buddy. Thank and, you. Uh, we will see you all next time. All conversations and information exchanged during participation of the Dr. Drew After Dark podcast or interaction on the drdrew.com website is intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. Do not confuse this with treatment or physician medical advice or direction per se. You must always follow your medical professional's advice and direction. Nothing on these podcasts or posted on this site supplements or supersedes the relationship and direction of your medical caretakers. Please understand, I am not playing the role of physician in this environment per se. I'm educating. I am a licensed physician with specialty boards in American Board of Internal Medicine and American Board of Addiction Medicine.